Hi YouTube! Welcome back again to my channel and for today's video, we will be talking about the mean value theorem and its applications. <music> Okay, so to start with, let's consider first the Fermat's theorem for differentiability. So it says here that given a function f, if the point c f of c is relative extremum and f prime of c exists, then this point here, which is considered as the relative extremum, must be a critical point and that f prime of c is zero. So that's according to Fermat's theorem for differentiability. So how do we introduce our discussion for today? Suppose we're given with the condition, let f be a function such that number one, it is continuous on the closed interval a, b. So yan, number two, it is differentiable on the open interval a, b. Yan. So these are the conditions. So the conclusion here is there exists a number c in the open interval a, b such that your f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b minus a. So what does this message trying to imply if you are given with a condition that this one holds okay so let's consider first on the cases na kunyari what if yung f of b mo is the same as f of a lang so we will consider on the assumption that f of b equals f of a yan so we will consider first case mo na first case f of a x is 0 for all x in your a, b. So, ibig sabihin nito, if, if f of x is 0, so yung a and b pala can serve as c. And so, the value of the function is constant on the closed interval a, b. And so, if we get the derivative, this turns to be 0. Kasi di ba, derivative of a constant is 0. For case 2 naman, suppose f of x is non-zero for some x in your a, b. So, anong implication nito? So, ibig sabihin, di ba for the previous discussion we had, for the previous video, I mean, we have the extreme value theorem. It says there that there is an existence of the, rela uh, the absolute extrema. So, ibig sabihin, if f of x is not zero, by virtue of the extreme value theorem, yung f mo attains the absolute maximum or the absolute minimum somewhere in this closed interval a, b. So, ibig sabihin nun that if our assumption is f of a equals f of b, which is zero, ang ibig sabihin nun, f of x is not zero for some x in the open interval a, b. So, magkakaroon, the function f attains the positive value c or the negative value. So whichever will be the maximum or the minimum. So ibig sabihin nun yung, yung value na c na yun can either be a relative extrema. So it's either a relative uh, maximum or a relative minimum. But then it's if we are talking on the interval lang, so ibig sabihin, ito na yung absolute maximum or absolute minimum. So because of that, by virtue of our Fermat's theorem, magkakaroon tayo ng f prime of c equals zero. For the case na magiging your f of b equals f of a equals zero, eto siya magiging zero yan. And so, if this happens so, this theorem is called the Rolle's theorem. Yan. However, if in the event that they are not equal, this one is not equal to this, then we call this as mean value theorem, which means that the Rolle's theorem is actually a special case for a mean value theorem. So that, me that means the mean value theorem generalizes the cases for this Rolle's theorem. How do we interpret this mean value theorem in general? Ibig sabihin lang nito, let's say you have a function Kunyari, I have a perfect drawing here. Let's say this is your function uh, f. So from this, let's say this is your interval a, b. Sige, assuming ganda ng drawing ko. If we connect a line, connecting these points here, so ito yung, let's say, a is equal to a 
f of a and then dito naman is b equals b f of b yan so if we are trying to connect that so we can create a secant line to this uh, curve observe that if we're trying to get the sec um the slope of the secant line di ba rise over run lang naman so that is f of b minus f of a all over b minus a so di ba ito yung pinakita dito this is f prime of c sa mean value theorem natin so ibig sabihin nun ito pala yung slope ng secant line. So in other words, since we can really find a value C in the open interval, let's say this is our C here, so the corresponding value here will be, um, let's say C equals C F of C. So we can create a line tangent to this at this point. So message pala na gustong ipahiwatig ng mean value theorem is that somewhere on your point of interval, you will always find a value at which there is a tangent line to that curve on that specific point na magkakaroon ng cases wherein the tangent line is parallel to the secant line. And this happens so, and that will be your C. So yan yung ibig sabihin ng mean value theorem. By that, we will apply this with examples. Okay, so... We will apply these examples for the uh, example for our mean value theorem. As it says here that given that f of x is equal to 2x plus 3 all over 3x minus 2, find all the numbers c between 1 and 5 such that f prime of c is negative 1. So how do we do this? So we need to have a knowledge of our ha on how to solve for the derivative of the function. And I bet that you're watching on this video alam na alam mo na on how to get the derivative of a function. So, one requirement here is my knowledge ka na dun. So, how do we get the derivative of our f? Observe that this is a function expressed as quotients of two functions. So, derivative of quotient. So, that's that means we have a mnemonic before that. This is equal to low d high minus high d low over low squared. So, low, ibig sabihin kopyahin mo yung low na sa lower part d high, derivative ng high, which is 2 minus high 2x plus 3, d low, derivative ng baba, which is 3. So correct me if I'm wrong, ha? Baka may makaligtan ako nito. And this is low squared, so 3x minus 2 squared. So what is this equal to? Magiging uh, 6x minus 4 minus 6x minus 9. Tama ba ako? And this is equal to 3x minus 2 squared. So basically, cancel naman to eh. And then you left with negative 13 over 3x minus 2 squared. So that means that will be your first derivative of f. So sabi dito, di ba according to the mean, mean value theorem, you would always find c. So you're looking for c. So that means your f prime of c equals negative 1 implies your negative 13 all over uh, 3x minus 2 squared is equal to negative 1. Ibig sabihin nito, 13 is equal to 3x minus 2 squared. Tama ba ako? Kasi para nako-cross lang, di ba? Tapos negative kasi sila both sides of the equation. So multiplying both sides by negative 1, maging positive sila lahat. So taking the square root of both sides, we have plus or minus square root of 13 equals 3x minus 2. Solving for x, dito na lang, 3x equals plus or minus square root of 13 plus 2. Tama ba? And then x is equal to plus or minus square root of 13 plus 2 all over 3. Okay. And then we're asked to find uh, the value between 1 and 5. So, pag 1 and 5, dapat nakapaloob it. Sana ito sa close interval 1 and 5. However, yung square root of negative 13 plus 2, hindi siya pasok sa banga, di ba? Because I think um, square root of 13, alam natin more than 3 na yan eh. So, plus 2, pag magne-negative. So, we're only considering the positive. So, therefore, C is equal to square root of 13 plus 2 over 13. Hindi na natin isasali yung negative kasi hindi siya makakapasok sa 1 to 5. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Okay, so let's have another example. Determine all the numbers C that 
f prime of c equals zero for f of x equals x squared minus two x minus eight on the closed interval negative one to three. So ibig sabihin we're asked to do the rules theorem. So yung special case ni mean value. Kasi zero eh. So how do we do that? Let's double check first kung pwede ba. Kasi una, can we apply the rules theorem? Ang, ang condition nun, di ba? F should be uh, continuous on a closed interval, AB. So yung AB natin is negative 1, 3. And then it, it, is, it is differentiable. Pero as, this is just a polynomial. Eh. So polynomials are continuous and differentiable. So therefore, um, it's a, it is satisfied uh, based on the criteria. So sulat ko lang dito. Note that F is continuous on negative 1, 3. And differentiable on negative 1, 3. Since F is a polynomial. So how do we get the process now? We'll solve for f prime of x. So based sa given yung f prime of x natin, um, so f of x kasi is x squared minus 2x minus 8. So how do we take the derivative of that again? So that's 2x minus 2. Tama ba? Thus, f prime of x equals 2x minus 2 equals 0. This implies 2 x minus 1 equals 0, so implying x equals 1. So therefore, you the c that you're looking for is 1. That's it. So if you have any question or clarification, please let me know. Let's have one last example. Find all possible values of c such that f of x equals x all over 1 plus x on the close interval 1, 3. So, can we apply the mean value theorem? Kung applicable ba siya? Kasi pag hindi, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yun. Pero ang sabi kasi dito, it's in the close interval 1, 3. So, kailan magiging differentiable and continuous siya? We have, note that F is, continuous ba si F? I mean, yes, continuous ba si F on the close interval 1, 3? Kasi kung titingnan mo, what makes it undefined pala? x over 1 plus x, so ibig sabihin negative 1. Kasi pag negative 1 si x, ibig sabihin maging 0 yan. So, undefined. However, hindi naman makakapasok si 0 dyan. So, wala tayong problema. So, therefore, our f here is continuous on 1, 3. And f is differentiable. Differentiable din siya. We can take the derivative for that at 1, 3. How do we get the derivative? So, f prime of x... Eto, derivative of a quotient to. So, low d high minus high d low over low squared. So, low, that's 1 plus x. Derivative ng high, which is 1, minus x. Derivative ng low, which is 1. All over 1 plus x squared. Okay. So, which is equal to 1 plus x minus x all over 1 plus x squared. So, di ba cancel yan? So, you'll have 1 over... 1 plus x squared. Ibig sabihin, f prime of c, di ba that is equal to f of b minus f of a all over b minus a, which is equal to, yung b kasi natin is 3, tama? So f of 3 minus f of 1 all over 3 minus 1. Tama ba? This implies, yung f prime of c natin is 1 over 1 plus c squared equals, what is f of 3 natin? What is the original function nga? x over 1 plus x. So that is 3 fourths minus 1 half all over 2. So what is this equal to? This is um, 3 fourth 1 half. So 1 fourth over 2. This is equal to 1 eighth. So in other words, 1 plus c squared equals 8. Kasi di ba magkakross lang naman siya. Yan, and then yan. So that's 8 equals 1 plus c squared. This implies that 1 plus c is equal to plus or minus square root of 8. Or I can write that as c equals plus or minus square root of 8 minus 1. Ang hinaha wala namang hinahanap ditong iba, di ba? Ah, okay. Yung restriction kasi natin for the interval is 1, 3. 1, 3. Isipin mo, 1, 3. 
So, ibig sabihin, pag nang, a square root of 8 estimately is 2 point something. So, if this is positive, papasok pa siya sa banga. If this is negative, negative sila lahat. So, hindi makakapasok. So, therefore, your C is equal to square root of 8 minus 1. So, that is the root that you are looking for. So, guys, if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you and have a great day.